Hey, what's up everyone? This is Jonathan Coates and in today's free training, I'm going to be talking about how to use YouTube analytics with ChatGPT to create a data-driven content strategy. Now I'm going to be sharing with you a content calendar that I created. We're going to go over YouTube Studio. We're also going to take the data that we get from that, put it in ChatGPT and create an entire strategy. Now I have all of this on a Google Doc, so you can find this in the description below. This entire strategy laid out, it even has chapters. So if you click on any one of them, it'll take you directly to that section. But let's go ahead and get started at the beginning. So I'm just going to read it with you. Before you start using YouTube Analytics, it's important to understand how it works. So I'm going to have the YouTube Studio up right here just to kind of give you an idea. Now, this is one of my main channels here. So you just want to get a good basic understanding of just the dashboard and everything that we're going to be using and what to give to ChatGPT to help us to further analyze the strategy. It's a free tool. So if you have content already, it helps you to gauge some of the metrics such as views, watch time, engagement, demographics. So what we're going to do is we will take that before we give it to the AI assistant tool. We're going to set goals and KPIs, which stands for key performance indicators. Now we can use the SMART acronym, which is specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time bound. So you want to be pretty specific on your content goals, how many videos you want to create over a time period. You want to get measurable, like how many is that? What will it take in order to create that? How many per week will you need in order to accomplish that per month? Is it achievable? Are you realistically able to accomplish that in a time frame that's consistent and congruent with your current schedule? Is it something that you can fit into what you already have going on or are you going to have to open up new blocks of time? Is it relevant to your audience? Is your audience what you're getting from the YouTube studio, like the data under analytics? Because on the left hand side here, when you click on analytics and you go to audience, it'll actually give you a good breakdown of your audience. So new viewers, you got returning viewers. If you scroll down, it'll tell you the geographies of people coming from, whether it be the videos or the shorts. As you can see, the majority of the views that click on the shorts are coming from the United States. And then I got 1.5% coming from Pakistan. Like my main videos, I got United States 14.4%. And it even breaks it down even further if you like. You can go into the cities, you can go to the viewer age, you can go to viewer gender, subscription status, subscription source. So as you can see, YouTube watch pages, the majority of my subscribers are coming from what content type, they break down the type of videos. So going back to this Google Doc, you just want to make sure that the content that you're analyzing, what your viewers, where they're coming from, what are they retaining on, like what videos are they watching the most, what videos are coming back to, because it even tells you like returning visitors. So let's go to analytics, and then we're gonna scroll up, and then click on see more right here, where it says top content, and then we're just gonna go to like the last 48 hours. So as you can see here in the last 48 hours, I got four views on this video, I got two views on this video, I got two on this video. These are all videos that, especially this one that I know, that they are likely have clicked on that because of an internal tag that I placed on my newer video, which is how to find profitable products to promote on ClickBank. So this shows me that if they clicked on this, they're also interested in CB Snooper, which I talk about in this video. It has four views and this one has two views, meaning two out of those people likely clicked on this or they just scrolled on my page and just went to that page. So I just want to share with you my thought process there. So if we're going back, basically, you would define your goals. I got it breaking down a little bit further the, as far as the KPI is concerned. The first step in creating KPIs is to identify your goals. What do you want to achieve? Your goal should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, as I mentioned. Identify the measures that matter. Once you define your goals, you need to identify the measures that will help you measure your progress towards the goals. For example, if your goal is to increase traffic, then your key performance indicator might be the number of unique visitors to your website. And then you can set targets for your KPIs. Once you've identified the metrics that matter, you can set targets, which can be challenging but achievable and should be based on your historical performance and industry benchmarks. Meaning, what did you accomplish in the past? What are your main milestones and how can you exceed that and go further? And you want to analyze the data. You could track and manage your key performance indicators. So once you've set them up, you need to track and measure your progress towards those targets. I have a lot of different videos that help you do that. You can track and measure your, your link performance, your earnings per click. You can use Google Tag Manager to help you to consolidate all of the different visitor activity from one page to the next to help you to manage Google Analytics a lot better. So I'll go ahead and link a lot of that in the description below. Uh, you can analyze your data. This helps you to identify areas where you need to make changes to your strategy. And you can adjust your strategy as needed. When I was coming up, there was a term that we use a lot in the military, adapt, adjust, improvise, overcome. So you can continuously refine your KPI. It's important to continuously do so based on the changing business needs. So that's number one, which is set goals and KPIs. And so on to the next strategy is analyzing your audience. 
You can use YouTube analytics to gain insights into your demographics, such as the age, gender, location, and interest. So let's go back to YouTube Studio real quick. Let's exit out of this. And we're just going to go to audience. And this is basically where you can find that. So if you go down, it actually give you the watch time, mainly uh, people from the last 28 days. 90% uh, are not subscribed. 9% are, meaning I got returning visitors. Here's the age range. The majority of my audience is males, 94%. And then I got 5% females. And then it actually gives you the age ranges 25 to 34 is the bulk majority of my audience 35 to 44 years old is 15 percent 18 to 24 is 10 percent so you can actually take this information and as you can see with the channel analytics who the age range are what the top videos are so if i click on content it'll actually give me more information as i was showing you before on what content where, where they're mainly at whether it be from the shorts or the videos it even tells you where they're coming from so like youtube search 11 percent of the traffic that comes to my channel is coming from people actually typing in the search bar I've got the shorts feed those videos that i create on objection handling and direct marketing mastery a lot of the people they find me from the shorts feed direct or unknown meaning it could have came from a social media could have came from my website channel pages so people are on my channel and the recommended suggested videos that come up external and others. So you can use this as kind of a gauge on where your viewers are coming from. And if you click on videos, you'll notice down here, if you scroll down, it'll tell you the key moments for your audience retention, like the latest videos in the last 365 days at the 30 second mark after 30 seconds, are they still watching the video? And it shows you here on this video, my green platoon simulation training, which is half-life two in VR. After 30 seconds, 102% people are still watching this video. And it even tells you, it breaks it down a little further, it even tells you if you uh, look at this line graph here, where they're dropping off at. So at the one minute mark on this specific video, 80% of the people are still here watching. At the one minute and 54 second mark, 35% of the people are still watching. So it's a good way to kind of take this information here and analyze and get a good idea. So you can do that with each of the individual videos. If you click on it, you can actually go into further detail. So let me just show you what that looks like. So if you click on the actual video, it'll show you the video analytics, the overview, it, what the performance is in the last 28 days. As you see this specific video, I have it unlisted. It's not really getting much of anything in the last 30 days. So if you cl click on reach, it'll actually tell you how many impressions it's getting, the click-through rate, the views, the unique viewers. So the estimated number of people that watch your content within the selected range, and you can change that range right here. And the engagement, what's the engagement like, the watch time, the average view duration, audience, you have your returning viewers, you have unique viewers. So, so returning people, people who've seen your videos before, has been on your channel before, unique viewers are brand new folks and subscribers. So this is just a good gauge and uh, idea of what you're doing here. So this is stuff you want to take notes on and you take those notes and you give it to chat GPT. And I'll be talking about that here in just a little bit. So in fact, let's go ahead and get started. So using chat GPT for deeper analysis, while as you can see, YouTube analysts can provide a lot of data, chat GPT can actually help you to analyze in a more meaningful way. For example, if you can use chat GPT to identify patterns in your audience's behavior, such as when they're most active on your channel or what type of content they prefer. So you can, Take the notes that you receive from this. I, I recommend open up like a notepad and then just take notes on the main things such as what videos are performing the best for you. So let's go back real quick. If we go to content and you click on overview here and actually just scroll down, it'll show you the channels with the current performances. So your top content this period, you can actually take notes of the content that's performing the best. So you take those notes, you put it on a notepad and then you put that into chat GPT. So you want to identify the patterns that your audience is having. You can actually put that in the prompt, say, Hey, here's the notes that I've taken from my YouTube analytics, put that in the prompt. Give me some further analysis and insight on this information here. And you'd be surprised what chat GPT comes up with. So right now the key to overcoming common sales challenges, which is one of my more recent videos, people are uh, watching that, um, calculating your earnings per click. Uh, multi prong marketing. This is a video right here from six months ago. People are still watching how to find profitable products to promote on ClickBank. And as far as the latest content, you can click on see video analytics for this specific video. It tells you the watch time, how many views it's got, the reach, the amount of impressions it's got 538 engagement. So the watch time, uh, average view duration is about a minute and eight seconds. Um, the audience returning viewers 23 so 23 people actually came back to this video unique viewers 75 so you can take these videos just take notes on all of this stuff 
and have a, a good like a, a good notepad fill it up with notes just from what you get here you want to spend some time in this spend about 20 maybe 30 minutes just getting a good idea and feel for your audience engagement and where they're coming from what content they prefer the most which one they're kind of dropping off with not really that interested in and then give that information put it in a prompt to chat gpt for further insight and analysis and then what you can do is you can actually create a content calendar now i'll link in this in the description this is the content calendar right here but the way this works is what you get from chat gpt it'll tell you what your main and best content is and when your youtube audience is likely to watch it like during the day during the week you can actually put that in a prompt just spend some time with the ai assistance tool just to further get into more depth and dig deeper into what the best times and what content is performing the best for you based off of the data that you've given it from youtube studio and then you can actually put that on a content calendar so as you can see here monday let me actually open this one up so this is supposed to say tuesday here so monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday you can actually say like for an example so in each one of these boxes you can actually put what you want to accomplish based off of the information that you get so let's just say one of your videos on how to use a certain button combination on your controller in order to accomplish whatever in your video game you can actually type that in and say okay so on mondays every monday i'm going to create a video about such and such so or you can just type in all of the different things you want to accomplish kind of like how i do in my chat gpt so create video for xyz on a Monday, you can actually X that off as if you got it done. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you can do that all throughout the week. And then you can continue to do the same thing. Just type in more stuff like create video for XYZ, you know, retroactively go back and create chapters for such and such videos, um, share videos that you know your audience is going to like. You can do that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I recommend just filling this out of all the different actionable items that you get from your AI assistant tool or any of the information that you get from the data set that you get from YouTube analytics. And then you get further insight from chat GPT and you, whatever your, the recommendations are, you can actually put that here. One, two, three, four, five. And as you're going throughout the week, you can exit it off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That way, when you look back, you can see on what you've done and then you can revisit this entire strategy and look at this as a gauge. You can actually use this. Now you got insight on what you've done in the last 30 days and you can make adjustments from there. So getting back to what I was saying earlier in regards to adapt, adjusting, improvising and overcoming. So monitor and adjust. Once you have implemented your content strategy, it's important to monitor its performance using YouTube analytics and adjust your strategy as needed. As I was saying, this will help you to optimize your content and ensure that it continues to resonate with your audience. So by following these steps and using ChatGPT to analyze your data from YouTube analytics, you can create data driven content strategy that helps you to achieve your business goals and objectives and grow your YouTube channel. So I just want to show you how to do that. I wanted to share with you this content calendar here, this Google Docs for YouTube analytics. And I just kind of want to give you a brief overview and a tour of the YouTube analytics. So you got your content on the main dashboard here on the left hand side of YouTube studio. You have your content right below that. If you click on analytics is where you'll get the information you'll need in order to do what we're talking about in this video all right so yeah with that said i hope you enjoyed this video that's pretty much it if you like content like this then i highly recommend that you check out my website jonathancoast.com i can talk about everything when it comes to generating traffic and increasing sales and be sure to take a look at the tools and the resources below i have everything that i included in this tutorial including the google docs and i also have our chat gpt as well as the content calendar so with that said i will see you in the next video see you then